Liverpool has emerged as superior to all other clubs following the behind-the-scenes update. Liverpool faced a challenging summer transfer window, failing to acquire several desired targets. However, they managed to turn things around by overhauling their midfield, with journalist Ben Jacobs providing the insights to give me sport about their successful recruitment strategy. The Reds have made an impressive start to the season under Jurgen Klopp and his recruitment team, who executed a comprehensive rebuild in the midfield. Despite the daunting task of replacing numerous influential players, they have done a commendable job so far. Jurgen Klopp encountered difficulties in securing some key targets. Liverpool had to navigate a busy summer dealing with the departures of Jordan Henderson, Fabinho, Naby Keita, James Milner, and Alex Oxlade-Chamberlain from the midfield. The club aimed to bring some of the world's top midfielders to Anfield but faced challenges finalising certain deals. Klopp had high hopes of signing the young superstar Jude Bellingham before he opted for a move to Real Madrid. Liverpool withdrew from the race in April, as they believed that spending approximately £100 million on a single player couldn't be justified, despite Bellingham being at the top of their shortlist for 18 months. Liverpool had to change their plans, and they considered Moses Caicedo, who is now with Chelsea. Liverpool agreed to a £111 million fee, despite earlier financial concerns that led them to abandon the pursuit of Bellingham. However, the Ecuadorian international chose to move to Stamford Bridge, which was another setback for Liverpool in their search for midfield reinforcements. Southampton's Romeo Lavia was the next target, but once again, Chelsea secured his signature ahead of Liverpool. Despite these missed opportunities, Klopp had multiple midfield options to explore. In the end, Liverpool managed to acquire four new midfield players and currently sit in fourth place in the Premier League, having lost just one game before the latest international break. They are closely trailing league leaders Tottenham Hotspur, who are only three points ahead before the weekend's fixtures. Ben Jacobs' update on recruitment at Anfield. Liverpool fans might have felt a bit disappointed to witness their club missing out on some of the finest midfield talents globally. However, it was always going to be a challenge, especially after failing to qualify for the Champions League. Thus far, their approach has yielded positive results, but it remains intriguing to see if they'll make moves in the upcoming January transfer window. I believe that Liverpool avoids dwelling on matters. They present their case for a player, and what Liverpool does exceptionally well, unlike most fans, is approach their recruitment with passion. They build a football case, a data-driven case, a business rationale, and a commercial argument, and then they make the decision. They assess whether it brings value and whether it aligns with Jurgen Klopp's football vision, the Liverpool culture, and the dressing room dynamics. Then, they either sign the player or move on. Regardless of the outcome, whether it's a win or a loss, whether there's an upward or downward trajectory, they have confidence in their model and system. They aim to avoid getting caught up in emotions. The upcoming January transfer window could prove to be a busy one for Liverpool. The club may need to plan for the future and prepare for the possibility of Mohamed Salah's departure. Liverpool has identified Bayern Munich winger Leroy Sane as a potential replacement for Salah, who is expected to move to the Saudi Pro League. Replacing a player of Salah's calibre and impact in this Liverpool team will undoubtedly pose difficulties, but fans must exercise patience and remember that Salah wasn't the same player when he first arrived. Klopp played a pivotal role in developing Salah into one of the world's top wingers, so there's no reason he can't do the same for whoever comes in to replace the Egyptian international.